Peter Chang here, and welcome to part 44 of our B44.2 RC car buggy build. And we're tackling the body. And with Lexan bodies, you want to grab Lexan scissors. And essentially, there's two types of Lexan scissors. Uh, there's the curved shears, and there are the straight shears. And I highly recommend getting the curved shears for trimming things like curves and wheel arches and using straight shears for things like just straight sides of the body. Now, if you're on a budget, I highly just recommend just getting, going for just the curve shears and trimming away like that. Now, with the curve shears, you just need to be a little bit more patient and, and just take your time. Um, there's gonna be some areas where there's like some access, uh, access uh, uh, lexan and what you need to do is just uh, trim away and, and just be patient with it. Uh, nothing really too difficult with it is just, in, in theory, when you just draw it on pencil and paper, it's just trim it out. But in practice, you just have to be a little bit more patient and just go a little slower. And you should also have some sandpaper too if you wanna just you know sand out some of the rougher edges. Uh, once you have the body trimmed out, line it up on your car to make sure that the hole indicators are correct. If they're not correct, you want to grab like a Sharpie and just indicate where the correct hole indicators are. And essentially the, the dimples from the mold pretty much fit my car, so I'm just going to go with the ones from the dimples. I'm using a body reamer to cut out the hole for my car, and admittedly you don't need to use a body reamer at all. However, if you desire to have like a perfectly round, round uh, hole on your on your Lexan body, you should most definitely pick up a body reamer. And also, I would highly recommend the reamer tool if you're say if you if you're going to go and paint like five RC car bodies or if you have like a couple of RC cars, like a fleet of RC cars and you want to, you know, do this more often. Uh, the body reamer just creates a nicer, cleaner hole. And admittedly, it's kind of like a leap of faith to, to get one. But once you do, you'd, you'd kind of be thinking like, hey, why didn't I pick up one sooner? So I'm just going ahead and drill out the rear body here. So just kind of drill out the rear hole here. And the diameter I'm making is about 5 millimeters. So just so you're aware. So we'll go ahead and just cut this one out. And admittedly, the slower you go, the more precise you'd be. So take your time with it. It's no rush. It's not race day, or maybe it is race day, but um, just take your time with creating the, the uh, hole there. And you would do just fine. So I'm gonna just place this on here, making sure that everything is gonna fit. And I'm kind of running into a problem. My uh, Orion Saddle Pack battery has pre-wires and the pre-wiring is kind of interfering with the way that the body could fit. So it's not exactly pushing down far enough and it's not the fault of the body or anything. Um, I just did not pick the greatest battery for this build. So I highly recommend uh, that if you're going to build the B44.2 buggy, uh, do not get saddle packs that are pre-wired because uh, you can't really change the way the wiring is fitting. So I'm going to try to reconfigure this. I'm going to try to maybe perhaps move the wiring in a different way. Um, I might also use some foam pads for the body so so that I could push the right height of the body down a little bit. So it's kind of, admittedly, that's kind of a, a hack. But I'm just going to pull out the battery for a sec to make sure that this fits properly. And let's just check here. Yes, it does. It fits, actually it fits very decently. So the fault is uh, I don't have the correct battery necessarily for this type of build. So I'm going to have to go back and at some point save up and get a different battery. But for the time being, I'm going to have to make do with this idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the... Uh, foam pad and I have a uh, Dan's RC foam pad so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. 
Um, also, you should indicate uh, uh, an area to drill out for the antenna. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that everything is lined up here. And just figure out like where things could fit. And just check that out. So at some point, you're going to have to drill out the area for the antenna too. Um, I know some guys like don't drill out a hole because they might use like a different uh, type of transmitter. So, so I've also seen some guys at the local track where they're they're using like a pretty good surface transmitter. But I highly recommend that that you should you know drill a hole in the body for the antenna. Then once you got everything set up, just check it out. Make sure that the tires could turn. Thanks for watching, and remember everything matters.